you know, like, when I look at social media, like, you know, social media, like, you know, what it's done for a lot of us, a lot of people, it's given a voice to the voiceless. Yeah. It's made people who may have been feeling lonely no longer feel lonely. Um, it's created a whole frequency of various different things, good, bad, you know, um, just a whole gumbo of things. So, you know, in understanding that, you want to be aware of what you can do with social media and what you shouldn't be doing on social media. Yeah, because, um, you know, you can get caught up. But the, but the good part about social media is that it gave a voice to the voiceless and um, it gave inspiration to those who may have been uninspired. And it really showcased and show us many different views and aspects of people, their funniness, their just everything you see on social media. Because when you look at social media, it's really happening in the world today. Social things that people do socially and some things they should not be doing socially. So it has its pros and cons. I remember when I first got on social media, um, it was AOL, right? I mean, it was awesome because I was meeting people, you know, um, some of the loneliness was gone because I had met friends and stuff like that. And I saw a lot of different things on social media, some good, some bad. It was a great experience. Now look at us now in 2024. We got Instagram, we got Facebook, we got this, we got that. We got all sorts of stuff on here. So... The goal is to navigate accordingly and be aware of when you're venturing out into places maybe you shouldn't be. Yeah. So you got to use discernment and really use it as a good tool because it's something that the creator gave to us, allowed us to create and grow and learn. Yeah, I just wanted to say that, you know. All right.